today is Saturday, February 25th, 2023, about 9.45 a.m. Central Time. I'm here at the St. Louis Lambert International Airport, and we're going to just do a little tour of the airport of what we can. I just landed coming from Cleveland, and we're in Terminal 2 right now. So from what I researched online, there's two terminals at the St. Louis Airport. Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. I took Southwest, which had a direct flight from Cleveland to St. Louis, nonstop. And Terminal 2 is predominantly the Southwest terminal, like almost the entire thing is at. And there are a couple of international flights, but then in Terminal 1, that's where like all the other airlines are, like United, Delta, American, etc. So what we're going to try to do in this brief tour is navigate and also check out some of the artwork if we can. One thing to note, because I am going to try to go over to Terminal 1, once you go between terminals you cannot like, you'd have to pass through TSA again, since I've already uh, been off, got off my plane. It's not like I'm arriving at the airport. I can't go through TSA again. Here's one of the artwork exhibits in Terminal 2. It's called Understory by artist Megan Kirkwood. So supposedly with the aid of a SUAS drones, a photographer can access views that are unavailable at ground level. As an artist, Megan finds more inspiration in what a drone sees 20 to 50 feet above ground than at 400 feet. So it looks like she likes being at that altitude for some of these nice shots. So this looks to be the retail court. We got Hudson News Shop. Natalie's candy jar. And then you would exit to the terminal going left. And also TSA is here if you're coming in. But if you're trying to exit, it looks like you can do so right here. So I'll be headed back there later. First time I just want to walk to the end of Terminal 2 before venturing on over. We got Baskin Robbins, Burger King, California Pizza Kitchen. Starbucks. Again, we won't be able to go in the concourses at Terminal 1 for this video, but I saw online that in Terminal 1 concourses, once you pass security, there's a lot of artwork in the aisleway like this that are glass panels all over the place with different artists having their work featured. The blue note, I assume that's kind of a celebration of their hockey hockey team.
So I don't know if there's even a gate E1. It felt like we started at gate E4, and then down this way it goes toward gate E24. You've got broom, brewmasters, but then you're gonna curve. Oh, before I curve, there's also a kids workshop here. So that's between the candy shop and the kids shop, they got some nice things for kids. Once you make the turn here, that's taking you toward gates E29 through E40. Another Starbucks. It's got a big line, so it's warranted. Here's another one of the exhibits on the left called Conserving Endangered Wolves. Now these exhibits will rotate, like the first one I talked about, the understory, is through June 2023. This one here will be up through September, well it says September 2022, maybe they meant 2023. Either that or you just haven't found a replacement exhibit. But Saving America's Wolves, the Red Wolf. Seems like we're getting sparser in terms of people down this way. Gates E34 through 40 are up ahead. And these will be the final gates. I didn't see this artwork mentioned, but it looks like they got some art here. This might just be related to the food place though, because it kind of looks like drinks. Although they have the St. Louis arch embedded in there, so that's a nice little artistic touch. Got some big St. Louis rocking chairs. And this seems unusual. <laughs> right, because where we just came from, there was a lot of people. And now it's like a long stretch where they do have some of the other artwork exhibits. This one is organic design, nature and home and harmony. This one is supposed to be, well see, it says now through January 12th, 2023, so we're getting an extended look at it. Let's read more about what it's supposed to be. A full-size model of the stained glass panels and doors in the Frank Lloyd Wright House in Ebsworth Park as viewed looking onto the terrace and into the surrounding grove. So I guess it's similar to these, right? Is that what it's supposed to be representing? Windows were recreated and funded by the St. Louis Public Library. These are just a couple of galleries that are featured.
I like the art on that one. Sorry, I wasn't pointing, but up there, just like the the paint reminds me how like the dot dot paintings. So yeah, it was a long hallway to get to the final several gates that are here, E34 through 40. There's just more southwest flights. So rather than walking all the way down, because it doesn't look like there's too many, if any, restaurants really down here. We're just going to go ahead and take the people mover back. And to save you from having to retread over what we just covered, I'm going to pick up the video again back at the terminal exit that we showed earlier in the video. Okay, back near the retail restaurant center of terminal two and the exit sign this is the only exit i saw so i think this is where everyone would be exiting 250 daily departures to 70 non-stop destinations Alrighty, so this looks to be the check-in area There's an airplane hanging from the ceiling over there. I think baggage claim is one level down. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be headed there in a second. But before I do, I just wanted to show, it looks like if you wanna take the Metrolink, it's telling you to go here. So you would actually stay on this level, take the doors out there, and then take the Metrolink. The Metrolink goes, starts off at Terminal 1, and does come to Terminal 2. So I believe you could take the Metrolink back and forth as well. That's just something to be uh, aware of, to know where the Metrolink is located. All right, it says elevator use only beyond this point. I wasn't sure what that sign was for, because there's an escalator on the right. You may be wondering, like, why are you going down there? to the baggage claim area because I do have both of my bags with me. I don't need to claim any bags, but again, I'm trying to give a tour. So if you do need to claim your bags, it kind of tells you where to go if you've never been to the St. Louis airport. Somewhere here, there's an international baggage claim area where there's a nice piece of artwork. So I'm going to try to also find that if I can. If I can't though, oh well. Yeah, this looks like just airport shuttle. That is where I want to go for the Terminal 1 to Terminal 2 shuttle. But let me see if I can find that baggage claim thing that I was referring to. Alright, so I was just over there and then I backtracked because I initially came down the steps there. So if you go over here, there's a thing that says International Arrivals. So I'm going to think that maybe international baggage claims are this way. 
As a reminder, ticketed passengers only are allowed beyond the passenger screening checkpoint. Welcome to St. Louis. Oh, it's Deadsville over here. There probably probably aren't any international flights. Oh, there's another piece of artwork over there. That little like monument thing. Let me try to see see what that monument was uh, related to. It's a ten foot sculpture called Sensation de Vuelo by Leonardo Nierman. Translated from Spanish means flying sensation. Constructed of intertwined steel ribbons that point to the sky and reflect the air and land above and below. Attention in the terminal, I'm still looking for that Lisa Williams, Tristan Williams. If you agree with us, it's Sarasota on flight 2135. Make your way back to this door, part D12. You have stepped off that aircraft. You are supposed to be going to Sarasota at gate 12. Thank you. Hmm. Well, apparently there's no baggage claim in this area. So we'll have to skip that shred of artwork. It was a cool looking artwork. Unfortunately, I couldn't give you the tour I was hoping for, but it does segue into the outdoor nature of this sculpture. By the way, it's about 45 degrees. This was gifted in July 2011. So we are back to this area. Maybe the elevator takes you to further baggage claim areas. Because that's way too small of a baggage claim area for there not to be anything else. Anyway, though, we are going to proceed forward and try to catch this terminal shuttle. I'm not sure what exactly it looks like. Like, it could be that vehicle that's just pulling away now that says Sky Park. But I think they run fairly often. So let's see here, they have off airport parking shuttles. Terminal two to one shuttle. So this is where we're going to go, wait in the center here, I guess.
Looks like this is the terminal shuttle. On the front of it, it said terminal shuttle too. Okay, so as you can see, not many, not a ton of people use the shuttle because there's probably not a lot of people needing to connect from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1 or vice versa since most of the Southwest or all the Southwest flights are in Terminal 2 and everything else is just contained in Terminal 1. Now let's see, I don't know where this bottom level takes us. Looks like it's the baggage claim. See, this is what I was expecting to see in Terminal 2. Welcome to St. Louis. Okay, so this looks to be just like the big open area of baggage claims. We're going to head back to that escalator in a second to go up to the next level, but I was looking at my phone. Exit 11, there's supposed to be some type of nice artwork. So let me see if I can find that. It was actually right where we first came in. Okay, so near exit 11. That actually looks to be where most people are exiting the airport. And the artwork I was referring to was this thing here. 
called Spencer by Solomon Thurman in memory of Spencer Taylor captured during the creation of Black Americans in Flight, rededication February 16th, 2022. This is way bigger than I thought it would be. It's pretty cool how extensive it is. You are allowed just in this area because it says art viewing only. To my left would be like where people are exiting Terminal 1 if they had tickets. Black Let's Americans in flight. Smart card assistance needed at baggage claim 5. Smart card assistance needed at baggage claim 5. And then down over here to my right, they have the Lambert Gallery where they feature some rotating exhibits. One of the exhibits right now is Toys Take Flight, the Evolution of Toy Aircraft. And that'll be here through March 31st, 2023. It began in September. I know Wilbur Wright, but it's talking about 32 years before Oroville and Wilbur Wright. They have ties to the Cleveland, Ohio area. Let's take a look at some of the toys. Evolution of materials, paper, plastic, and wooden planes. <laughs> look at the Fisher Price Airport. Toy planes as advertising, airplane coi coin banks. So really, these were like coin banks? Could you put coins in these? We got the Pepsi Cola, Budweiser, Shell, Wrigley's, and Crayola. I wonder how much these things, like if someone actually owned them new as like vintage things would retail for on something like eBay. Model airplane kits. So like build your own little airplane. Metal toy airplanes. Reminds me of like the metal lunch boxes. And then Famous Planes. Do they have the Wilbur Wright one here? I don't think they do. And then we'll try to check out those galleries in a second. I actually missed one of the exhibits. Aircraft in Motion, Wind Up Toy Planes. A little wind up toy ones. I guess they would probably move a little bit. And then the other one is just talking about through the lens of a photographic journey. These are selections from the St. Louis Museum of Art. Because they're in black and white and like small, probably it's not as conducive to showing off in the video. That's why I'm just doing a quick pass through. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the escalator to see what happens if we go up to the next level. So before we take the escalator up, let's go this way because I noticed, A, we have like a piano back there, but I also see signage related to Metrolink. So which way is the Metrolink? Oh, you still gotta take it upward to the to get to the train. <laughs> they tricked me. They made it seem like it was actually this way. Attention, the terminal spirit representative is needed at the ticket counter. Okay, so we're gonna take the escalator up now to try to get to the ticketing level.
big ceilings for sure. <laughs> Let's see here, which way do we want to go? I think first I'm going to look at this little artwork over here. China, China, on loan from the Gateway Foundation. <laughs> Let's see if I can find an explanation as to what it means. A bronze statue by Beijing artist Zhu Wei, one of China's most successful artists, attempts to show how to modernize the past through two characters dressed suits commonly associated with Chairman Mao's rule. And then one of the other things, there's a couple of galleries here. Unique, natural, and mesmerizing treasures from Earth by Kim Stahl. This exhibit is supposed to be here through June 2023. So it looks like just a bunch of rocks, crystals, and minerals and also where they originated from. Like for example, the quartz came from Rio Grande do Sol in Brazil. And then Kim Stahl, I think has another exhibit just over here. This one is called On the Horizon. Fascination with satellites and antenna towers began while Kim was attending college at Indiana University in 1989. So I think what this was supposed to represent is like back then, the future as she saw it, like instead of maybe having the cell phones like we do now, she was like, oh, maybe we would have like these tools that help boost the cellular connection. So that's just a little artwork. You can see even like the little satellite dishes in the sky. Sorry for me keeping jumping back and forth, but anytime I pause the video, I'm often taking pictures. So two other things to point out. I see artwork over here and there's signage that indicates that the Metrolink train would be that way. So let's see what this artwork is. Lambert Field. Albert Bond Lambert. So I guess this is the guy who the airport is named after, right? Trying to find some more context in my in the website. Dream Beyond the Clouds by Martin Donlin. Commissioned by Lambert Art and Culture Program to celebrate the life and legacy of airport founder Major Albert Bond Lambert on the 100th anniversary of St. Louis. I think we did pretty good finding almost all the artwork. And when I say that, I'm referencing the website. Because like for example, the St. Louis Arts website shows all the exhibits and kind of where they're located. I mean, there's one like right there at the exit of Concourse C checkpoint that I think I missed. But for me never having been here, I think we hit a fair amount. There was one more artwork. I don't know how accessible it is, but it's supposed to be in the Metrolink train area. I also see some type of cake up here. <laughs> No, 
not sure what the cake represents. The TSA is below it. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> I was just talking about how we missed that one artwork at the exit of Concourse C. And guess what? There it is over there. Granted, it's from a distance, but let me try to read what that artwork was related to. That one was called The Building as a Pretext Sound Graph, a site-specific artwork in which motions and lines, shapes and colors are based on a visualization of the sound created when the title of the piece is spoken. The Building as a Pretext. So the Metrolink station would be here. You can use the mobile app to buy your tickets. Or you can buy a ticket there. These are interesting planes, right? <laughs> Real tiny ones. From what I looked at online, it seems like the Metrolink runs every 20 minutes. It looks like we're going upward to get to get to it. Oh, there's the artwork. I better have my phone out. <laughs> Let's snag a picture as I'm going up. That one is called, that's actually not, that's just a smaller piece of artwork. The bigger one is right here. Nucleic Life Formations by Amy Chang. Two water jet cut ceramic tile murals suggestive, suggestive of straighted nightscapes crossed by a constellation of stars that loosely mimics a DNA double helix. And then outside there would be, I guess, the Metrolink. So if you enjoyed this video tour of what I could make of the St. Louis airport, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.